Hello and welcome to another Applied Energistics 2 tutorial. In this video I will go through the Matrix Cannon. We will craft it and go through all the steps from crafting to using. This is not my first Applied Energistics 2 tutorial, so if there are any items or blocks in here that you don't recognize, then you can probably check the video description for links to those videos. So let's get started by crafting it. Not that hard of a recipe. Energy cell and storage components and formation core. And now when we look at the cannon, we see there are actually three important parts. We have the stored energy. So this runs on energy, on AE. So you need to charge it before using it. We also have the storage capacity. You have 512 bytes of storage. This means your ammunition. And the types, you can only have one type of ammo in it. But to charge it, we need a charger. It's a quite easy recipe. And you place it on, a, uh, an, on an ME cable. You can connect power from the bottom or from the top. Now just simply right click with the matter cannon to place it in the charger and it will charge up. I have a creative energy cell here, so. Okay, so while that charges, let's take a look at ammunition. To craft the lowest tier of ammunition, we can use the matter condenser. And let's quickly craft it and easily craft it. The matter condenser does not require any energy, so just place it on the ground and open up the interface. You can see there are two modes here. You can, or three modes actually. In this mode, we will just destroy any item that we place inside. And if we place it in the other mode, we can condense items into matter balls. And in the third, it's into singularities, but this is not the part of this video. So let's put it in a matter ball mode and we pick up our 1k storage component here. Now when we throw items into the, the trash symbol, you can see that the energy slowly starts to fill up. So place four stacks to get the 256. The 256 energy units inside the storage component and we get the matter ball. And let's place a few more and we'll get another matter ball. So quite an easy way to get ammo but uh, it will require a lot of items of course. So I've prepared some stacks already. Except for the matter balls we also have the iron nuggets and golden nuggets. You craft the nuggets as you would have expected from the original recipes. The iron nugget is the second tier of ammo and the gold one is the best, at least out of these three at the moment. Okay, so now we have we have our uh, <laughs> we have the matter cannon right here charging. Right click to get it back and it's fully charged already. It's perfect. So now we have a cannon and we have ammunition and now we need to place things inside of it. So let's remove this old one and look at our new one. By placing it as a storage device in an ME chest, I can access the inventory. So now we can place some matter balls. And if we look at it, we are using one out of one types, so we can't place any iron or gold there as well. And we have 16 out of 512 bytes used, so we can put in a lot of more ammo, of course. But let's take it out and see what we can do with it. Right click to shoot. And you can see I broke three sand. I can continue as well. And there we have three more. 
So let's place those back and try it on stone. So it's slightly harder or much harder. So only one at a time. So this was easy and all but quite slow, I guess. You can also see that we used up some power, some energy. This will be used for every shot and just charge it in between and you're good to go next time. You can use it to kill with as well, but it's not a very efficient weapon in my opinion. So let's take a look at some other ammunition. Let's take out the matter balls and play some iron nuggets. Four pieces of sand this time. And two stone. So one more unit, so to say. So we can quickly try out the gold one as well, since we are already here. Matter cannon with gold. One, two, three, four, five six sand and let's see four pieces of stone so that's quite good so the gold one is of course the best one and yeah there we are but it isn't over yet we can still do one more thing to improve the uh, cannon we can use the upgrade cards so now if we look at these cards, we can upgrade, there are three types. We can see that the inverter card and the acceleration card and fuzzy card all can be put into the matter cannon. To do that, I used a cell workbench this time. And if we place the matter cannon up here, then we get this part where we can place our our cards and we have this side to handle the partition. Now I can partition this by clicking this button I can partition this matter cannon to only use nuggets because that we had it already inside and this one partitioned it based on the currently stored items. So now if I take it out and I place it in here I can take the gold ones out but not the iron in. We can take it out and we can look at if I place the inverter card. This means that we can use all ammunition except for the golden one. And the fussy cards adds, adds fussy behavior to split on different kinds. This one says damage. So, but I think the most fun one is acceleration cards. The acceleration card will give you the possibility to shoot more more bullets per shot. So if I place one more acceleration in there and I load it up with matter balls again. Then let's see. Last time we broke three pieces of sand and this time we broke six pieces. So it shoots out two, two matter balls instead of one and to the cost of the same amount of energy as two shots. So no, no extra Per shot or no, no additional cost per extra shot so to say but now let's try out the best one you get the idea two more shots three more shots and four more shots and why don't we load it up with golden nuggets and go crazy As you can see, quite powerful piece of gun with gold, 
golden ammunition and maximum amount of upgrades. And with that demolition, I think we are finished for this tutorial. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask them in the comment session. And thank you for watching.